scoliosis is a lateral bending of the spine, a condition which makes young girls cosmetically unacceptable to themselves. It reduces their self-esteem. It makes a young girl feel inferior, especially when a girl is becoming a woman. At this stage, with a lot of load on her heart, with a lot of discomfort, this young girl consents or gives in to a surgical correction. She is afraid of the operation. Her parents are really, really scared for her. In that situation, we as surgeons are also very, very unhappy. Unhappy because we have taken the responsibility and we are going to take the risk of helping this girl become straighter from a curved situation, but we would want it to be very, very safe. Robotic spine surgery makes scoliosis surgery deformity surgery far, far safer. This is a huge tool in the hands of a deformity surgeon. Why do I say that? Very often, while placing screws to correct spinal deformities, we have those pedicles which are extremely narrow, thin, hypoplastic, almost aplastic, which in the freehand technique, we as surgeons avoid or to look at a compensatory way of looking at it, we use not the best hold and put in screws from a different trajectory in a different direction, again at the risk of injuring the spinal cord or the roots. If we had a safer option, would we not be more comfortable? I surely am more comfortable because I have a safer option today. I have the Maser Renaissance robotic system, a system which allows me to, before the operation, plan and execute the surgery safely. I plan before the surgery exactly the length of my screw, the diameter of my screw, the trajectory of my screw, the number of screws. Everything is planned and we can precisely mimic and execute exactly what we planned on the computer, on the patient during the operation. It is a paradigm shift. It is a quantum leap from what we are doing today and what we shall be doing tomorrow. It has reduced radiation and it has made scoliosis surgery far, far safer. We combine the use of the robot with neuron navigation, with neuromonitoring. All the three together increases the safety three times. Three independent verticals which make deformity surgery far, far safer, both for the patient and for the surgeon. Think about it. It is worth considering a shift to robotic spine surgery.